Let's write the name for PCL5. So the first thing, we want to know what type of elements we have bonded together here in PCL5. Phosphorus, that is a nonmetal. Chlorine, that's also a nonmetal. Two nonmetals, that means it's a molecular compound. And we have to use prefixes when we write the name for PCL5. So first, let's write the name phosphorus as it's found on the periodic table. And then for chlorine, we're going to write chloride. And now we'll use our prefixes. If we only have one of the first element here, we don't write anything. We just have the same name as the periodic table. For chlorine, we have a 5. 5, we use the prefix penta. So we're going to write penta right here. And that makes the name for PCL5 phosphorus penta chloride. And we have penta, that's because of those five chlorine atoms. Note that it's a lowercase p as well. If you were given the name phosphorus pentachloride and asked to write the formula, you'd know that you have two nonmetals. So you can look at the prefixes. There's nothing on the phosphorus, so that's just P. And then we have penta in front of the chloride, so PCL5. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.